Hey guys, it is Miss Simpson and today it is time for reading and we are still talking about author's purpose today. Yesterday we did some work with PIE. Remember our, our acronym that we remember is PIED. It's P-I-E. E D. So persuade, inform, entertain is what we did yesterday. And those are the ones that you're used to, the ones you've heard a lot. But these two are probably new. So they might be a little bit harder for you because they're new to fourth grade. And they are explain and describe. So we're going to go through these and um, your assignment today is going to have all five of them in there. But I just want to go over these two since I already went over P-I-E. You know what persuade, inform, and entertain is now. So now let's pay attention. What does it mean? What is um, an author's purpose of explain? So if the author's purpose is to explain, they might want to tell the reader how something works. So you're thinking of like a toolbox, right? They might even want to tell you how to do something like how to cut hair like this person's doing. So they're either, like it said right here, telling you how something works telling you how to do something. So um, we're going to read this cute little slide because this little chef is adorable. He says, I must admit this one is my favorite. I write recipes all the time to explain how to make things. Here is an example of something written with the purpose to explain. Okay. Have you ever wanted to study your own fingerprints? Here's what you need to do. First, get your supplies. You will need a pencil, an index card, and clear tape. Now you are ready to begin. Use a soft pencil to color a square patch on a piece of paper about the size of your finger. Rub your finger in the graphite on the paper, also rocking it side to side. Next, take a small piece of tape and wrap it around your fingertip. Finally, remove the tape from your finger and tape it to an index card. You can now see your fingerprint. While yes, that is a very cool little trick they just taught us, it also told us how to do something. So it told us how to... Um, use our fingerprints and use like a pencil to study our fingerprints. So when it's telling you how to do something or um, or explaining something to you, it's obviously explain. But what is the author trying to explain to you? Well, he's trying to explain how to capture a copy of your own fingerprints. So remember, we're not just in your star test and any test and honestly, Anything I ask you to do, even if you're just reading a book, if I ask you, hey, what's the purpose of that? You're not just going to say, oh, it's entertaining. You would tell me it's entertaining me about, a, it's a story entertaining me about dragons. Or this one is like, what are they explaining? If I you said the author's purpose is to explain there, you would tell me it's explaining to me how to send a text message. So. Let's talk about describe. So describe is when the author might want to help the reader see or experience a person, place, or thing. So describe and inform are two that you guys always get confused. Inform is where you're going to see a lot of facts, um, maybe a lot of numbers. They're informing you about a topic. But describe is mainly um, when they're using... Uh, I can't even think of, oh, your senses. There we go. I lost my train of thought. They're using their your senses to describe something to you. So how does it um, feel? How does it smell? Um, what does it look like? It's very descriptive. The author often, I cannot talk today. I am so sorry. The author often tries to help you imagine things by using your five senses. They describe what you see, hear, taste, smell, or touch. So, let's read this example. Mmm, the heavenly aroma of chocolate chip cookies fresh out of the oven is like no other smell in the world. As I sink my teeth into the soft center, warm chocolate oozes onto my tongue. It tastes sweet or its sweet taste tantalizes my taste buds. The sight of chocolate chip cookies makes my heart beat faster in anticipation. If I could eat a chocolate chip cookie each day of my life, I would be one very happy kid. I could taste that. I could smell that. I could feel it. I could see it. I could hear it. I could, all my senses right there were in it. It is describing but what is it describing to you? Well, 
They're describing the experience of biting into a chocolate chip cookie that has just been taken out of the oven. So when you're thinking of author's purpose, think, is it persuade, inform, or entertain? If you think it's one of the persuade, inform, entertain, how is it doing that? If it's explain or describe, you're going to think, what is the author explaining or what is the author describing? And that might help you a little bit determine. So think, P-I-E, how? How are they persuading me? How are they informing me? How are they entertaining me? For explain and describe, think, what are they explaining to me? What are they describing to me? So today for your assignment, you're going to be given... Let me show you. You're going to be given this, and it looks like a lot, but it's just because it's a lot of words. There are one, two, three, four, five questions. What you're going to do is you'll read the passage. Let me get closer. You're going to read the passage and choose an answer. And notice the answer says to persuade to persuade the reader, to, to inform the reader, to inform the reader, to entertain the reader. So guess what? If you choose inform, you're going to have to choose the best um, explanation. What is it informing you of if it's inform? On this one, we have to entertain. Inform, persuade, persuade. Ooh. On this one, we have describe, describe, explain, entertain. On this one, we have persuade, inform, explain, entertain. So those four are different. And this last one looks a little different, but it's just because it's taking up the bottom of the page. So you'll read this paragraph, and this one is either persuade, persuade, explain, explain. So you'll have to choose between those. So again, if, this one might take you some time to really think through and think. Again, P-I-E, you're thinking, how are they doing that? E and D, you're thinking, what? Okay, guys, so choose your very best answer choices. I'm going to put the anchor chart right down below. So if you forget what any of these are, go back and take a look at that so you don't get the questions wrong. All right, guys, I love you all so much. I hope that you have a great, um, fantastic day. One more thing. Sorry. There is one of each. There's one persuade, one inform, one ex entertain, one explain and one describe. So to, they're all going to be a different answer. So if you've already used persuade or you've already used inform, it's not going to be the same thing. All right. Y'all have a great day and have fun completing this assignment. When you're done, turn it in. Bye.